Hey everybody, my name is Kid and welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series, boys, of course. On the last video, we tried to discover the game a little bit, tried to uh, find out how the mechanics works. I kind of want to be able to build my civilization uh, by myself the proper way. So we're going to just continue right here. We're going to go into turn 14. We're going to pass turn four, uh, 13 right here. Uh, there we go. It's going to take a little bit of time right here. It is pending still. Uh, I really love this game uh, so far. I've, I've really enjoyed playing it and for the first video at least. So I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, we're going to be able to do in this uh, video. Now the game needs to take a bit of a time right here to load up a little bit right there. There we go. With uh, my PC not being able to really render it properly. I already got an old PC, boys. So eventually I'm going to have to modify it or buy a new one. I'm not sure, but... Right now, just gotta make do with what I got. There is an event over my capital, it seems like, but right now I do wanna focus as well on my tribes, right? So I wanna explore a little bit further. There is seems to be some fertile lands over here uh, coming up. So maybe if we wanna do that, maybe that would be great. So still got one uh, land right there. I imagine there's gotta be a way for me to go faster, right? I'm not sure. Not sure if there's a way for me to actually go faster for the units, make them go faster and stuff. There is some hot zones right here, but this seems to be a really good like fertile lands and stuff. So we're gonna, I guess we're sticking here. We can't go any further. Uh, now what? What is that event right there? So violent pursuits. So last winter was especially harsh. The ground hard and the frost chilling are to the bone. In the art of the settlement, the tribe although close to share warmth through the coldest days. But for some, it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing. And they found a means through violent games, grappling, fighting, contests of strength and endurance. One contest, co contest where opponents fight where, with hidebound fists has gained a, quite a following to the point that the outpost's usual foraging missions are under threat. What is your say on this matter, uh, on this pursuit? Well, it's basically creating sports, right? It's basically creating a boxing uh, thing. So, encourage would give us minus five of food, which is not too bad, but it does give us strength. Uh, bountiful on some, so forbid. These games will be forbidden. The tribe encouraged to stay warm by uh, foraging faster. So, I imagine they're just gonna, they're gonna build faster, probably. Or dominis, domestication research cost, I guess, called uh, codify. I'm going to encourage it. I'm going to encourage that. That seems like a good thing to do. Let's do minus five of food, but we're going to encourage it. And uh, they're just going to gain more. They're just going to be better offensively, right? They're going to have more attack. They're going to be better overall. I mean, just that the army strength right here, boys, 42. This is good. This is really good for me. So that's... Uh, I'm just, uh, definitely that's something that I wanted uh, for sure. So let's keep it moving again. Let's uh, skip another turn. All right, we're already in turn 15, boys. It goes by very fast. We still got another two turns before uh, getting our first outpost done. So we need to eventually be able to build that uh, that thing. It takes forever to literally build that, which is kind of quite interesting. That's for sure. I wonder if I uh, once that is done, what can I am I going to be able to build or I can do in that settlement? I, I definitely do wonder. Now there's one thing I'm going to keep exploring with these units, but I don't want to settle anywhere near here, right? I want to settle basically probably in the new land or something, or in the east because I want to settle near my other my first one, my first settlement, right? You you don't want to go too far from each other, uh, too separate, so. Let's go here really quick. We're going to explore that. We're going to get uh, uh, these points right here. Science and points like these. Obviously, we want that. Uh, we also want... So what do uh, what we do want to have is... Uh, we got, we want to get back here because there is some points that we can get right here. Now, we can't go uh, uh, go there yet. I guess we're, we're not fast enough or something. We need more, like, uh, abilities and all. So, curiosity collected... All of that, I wonder, like, what are we, what are these uh, points for? I guess it's knowledge star. I guess that's what it's giving us. I imagine to, I imagine that for for us to go to a new era, we either have to go to get one of those, 
or we have to actually go and get all of them i imagine if that's the case it's gonna be tough so still want to one more turn to skip for sound uh we're gonna go in here and get the points so get the curiosity knowledge plus uh five stars right here i i uh, wonder how many more for an outpost uh, i think it's about 40 or something i'm not sure how much more i'm gonna need for an outpost boys i do want to go towards there and collect as many resources as possible but for that I would have to go all the way around. So instead, I'm going to keep uh, going towards here. There we go. I'm going to keep going here. And uh, can I actually go faster? Let me uh, see if I press space really quick. If I'm going to go faster because of that. Let me uh, see really quick if I go faster. Maybe not. I don't think that's the case. So that's my city or whatever. Liberate. So I can actually liberate this uh, any city that I got. I can liberate them as well. That's interesting. Uh, I do want to keep that for myself, though, obviously. The outpost beer, you can see this, it has some food. It, uh, industry is all right. I guess it doesn't have any money right now. There's nobody living in it right now, so nothing going on for it. My party is doing its thing. There's not a whole lot to look at right here. Let's keep skipping turns, I guess. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do as of right now, except from... Maybe getting points altogether. I really am not sure, boys. So, a knowledge culture chosen. The nomadic tribe reached the ancient era with the Nubians. All right, so that's really good, I guess. So, uh, we did reach, I think it was us or something, or there's another nomadic tribe that reached uh, the other era. So, we were still far behind. So, we got our first outpost, and now we can start building stuff. Okay, I got you. So we can build some districts. We need points for that. So I see how that goes, I guess. And uh, we also can build units with that. But we need uh, at least one population. So we're not growing at all right now. So we need at least somebody to live here. And we don't have anybody living here at all right now. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm obviously going to need to get somebody here. Uh, so I, I need I need to send one of we split out my army a little bit, so we're gonna split these guys up. Uh, let, let's see what happens if I transfer them uh, right there. Yeah, I kind of want to get them away from here. There we go. Go ahead and do that, please. Did it work? I'm not sure if it worked actually. Uh, I think I gotta do that. There we go. So now I transferred them so they can move from their own tiles. Uh, do they each have their own abilities, their own move they can do? Yes, they do. All right, so I'm going to keep these two units together for now. Uh, my main party together. I'm going to keep them together right here and do that. And uh, they're going to keep exploring. So these are what they're going to do. And it seems like, yeah, they each have four moves each. So that's really good. I'm going to go here. Let's see what this is, uh, what this is right there. So can we actually scavenge this? Or uh, what do we do with this? Can we ransack? We can't ransack this. So we're just going to uh, get these resources, boys, as much as possible. We're getting a lot of food right now. If we keep moving, eventually we're going to get more food and we're going to be able to get our third play, uh, per people or whatever. We're already at 20 of that. I want to go back and get uh, this guy to be in the outpost. I need at least one of them to be in the outpost. So we're going to we're gonna move all the way uh, them all the way there because... There's nowhere else to go for them. So that's uh, really fantastic. I, I found a, a new way of doing things, I guess. Culture chosen and stuff. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep moving, I guess. So I do believe that I do have to uh, keep moving yeah, with the, the knowledge and everything. I think I, I do have to keep uh, getting one of them at least in order to move from one era to the next. I'm pretty sure... Uh, let's keep moving with these guys. I'm actually going to start attacking these guys. For that, though, I do want to do the event, whatever event uh, is going on in the outpost. It's the Fungal Order. The shift to fix the bots has, hasn't been easy for the tribesmen and women who'd settled in the outpost. But they persevered and now thought of the land as home. When they discovered that one of their number had been ordering mushrooms that it found in a nearby cave, uh, cavern for himself, it was a great blow to the spirit of the tribe. Now they want to banish him for his greed. But that would mean being deprived of the location of the mushroom field. What is your reckoning? 
uh, banish would be minus 25% of city def defense, protect, bountiful on the research, so plus 5 food, I guess, or retain. So the men will leave the settlement, but will retain, uh, will remain in the tribe. Its days will be dedicated to learning more about this strange species. Yeah, I guess we can get, like, it's plus 2 science, so that would give us a lot of knowledge. Let's do retain, boys. Let's do that. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, we still can't do anything. We, just, uh, we need three more stars and we're going to be able to start building like uh, like this. So this will allow you to place the outpost on the different tile in the same territory. It will take a few turns to complete. Okay. And this is all that. Okay. Uh, what, I'm, uh, what I do want to do right now. So can I, can I modify these or not at all? I guess not, boys. Okay. So what I want to do is obviously move this unit right here. And we are going to start uh, attacking this guy. So we're going to do, uh, do the battle. Uh, let's do manually. Let's do the, ma the battle manually, boys. Now we are going to move them. We're going to deploy them over here. We're, uh, actually, you know what? No, over here is perfect because there are on mountains. So we're going to do that. Yeah, we're in the mountains right now. So we have like some sort of big time advantage for the mountains, which is good. Now we're going to let him attack us. I really like how it's done. It's like a mix of... Ri uh, not it's like a mix of Total War and a Civilization at the same time. I really like that. Alright, let's keep attacking him one last time. And we got him. He's dead. So that's that. The enemy is dead. And uh, we pretty much did it, boys. So there's another win for us. Plus 5 food. Plus 5 stars, boys. Very good. We're going to be able to uh, build that uh, outpost over there. So, hunt for of Taltila, that's done. So now we can move, no, we can only do a one assault at a time. So what is this? So open the list of adjacent cities. So now we can build this. Let me see what happens if I build this. So, let build an outpost, placement details. So what? Uh, where do I want to build it right here? This is going to give me plus two production, plus two food. So wherever I want, uh, I go, it's going to upgrade the production and the food. Over here would be plus two production instead. Over here is just simply plus two production. It doesn't give me anything else. Over here would give me plus two of each. I kind of want to have a plus two of each, to be honest. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here because it's going to give me a plus two of each. So I'm going to build it right there, boys. Oh, I just moved it, basically. Okay, so I'm just moving the camp. That's all I'm doing? So I, I literally wasted all my points just to move the camp from another direction? That's all it does? Okay, I guess so. I guess that's all it does, boys. Well, I, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do, but I guess now uh, I don't really have anything to do. So evolve your city into a capital. So how do I do this? How do I evolve my impulse into a city? Once you complete it. You will be able to improve its infrastructure, exploit more tiles. Okay, so it's got to be a city in order to be, uh, in, or in order for it to be an actual, uh, be able for, it's got to be a city for in order for us to be uh, doing anything with it, I guess. That's my understanding. All right, then. That's fine by me. So we still got these uh, guys over here. Let's keep uh, moving towards there. We're going to uncover that. Uh, thing right there. It's more research, boys. Right, 9 out of 20 right now. Map focus. Uh, I'm going to put that off uh, when possible. Opening a notification focus on the camera. The location. Nope. Okay, so we still got one movement. Which means we can move from any tiles we want. I'm going to go uh, towards there, I guess. So we are doing pretty good. We don't really have too much going on right here. We do have a resource here. So I basically moved my outpost. From here to here, I thought my outpost was great as it was right here because it was near the shore, it was controlling. So I guess I'm going to keep it there. Now I'm not going to move it any further. I'm going to keep it here. It's protected on the mountains. I don't want to do anything crazy with it. And I want to make sure that everything's going to be fine. So we are in turn 19 now. Cultural knowledge and nomadic tribe uh, has reached the ancient era with the Arapans. So that's interesting. So there's a bunch of, I guess, other tribes are reaching the ancient era somehow. And uh, somehow I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm kind of messing up or something. I'm not sure how that's possible, but uh, it is the case. So now I got to keep moving right here, boys. Keep moving. Go all the way there. 
I can't go any faster than this. This is as, uh, as further as they're going to be able to go. That's fine. If I go with them now, if I keep exploring, I guess, keep exploring towards there. There we go. And we do have a resource right here, but we're not going to be able to get it. So let me just get my guys over there, I guess. In due time, boys, we're going to get to that resource, try and get more. Now, I could split up the armies, but I got a feeling I the more I go south, the like the more I'm going uh, I'm in danger of finding another like civilization, so I should probably stick to where I am right now. Uh, I did gain 2 points of influence, which is good. But let's skip uh keep skipping turns. There's not a whole lot we can do. Already in turn 20, Egyptians went up to uh, the next era, so I'm pretty much the only one almost left in this uh, Noeotic era or whatever. So we got plus 10 food right here on Hunting Party, which is very good. Got a lot of food from that. And we are going to get these guys in there. So they're going to be they're gonna be in Salm. Now we have some population, I imagine, right? Is that how it's go? Ransack or regroup? Station at this position with, uh, until all units in the army are healed. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to station there. So what does this do for the uh, the outpost itself now? Does it actually say that there's people living here? Or I don't know actually how to get the population up. I really don't know how that works, boys. That's kind of very strange. I have no idea how that mechanic works. The game hasn't explained to me really how this whole thing works. We did get five points. Another science star, I guess. How do I get... To another like technology or whatever or another era. I'm not sure. I do want to see like I do want to go here and and see what these technologies are all about boys. I want to see these undiscovered pl uh, places. Uh, did I uncover a new civilization? I might have. The Arapa boys land transport. This seems like to be a, a new civilization boys trade route. They have one population. How do I get a population on my own front end? Not sure. There is an event for us, though. A tribe's legacy. So you stand at the crossroads for many moons. A tribe has triggered the wilderness. Slowly trails and learning the secrets of this world. How the materials hidden in the deep places and in the plain sight might be fashioned to tribe's advantage. How the beasts and plants of the lands are and seas can be most so fruitfully harvested. And how myths of story and stories can glacially but inspicably give power over our greatest enemies. Uh, now you must decide in what the domain the tribe will truly sharpen its knowledge for the ages to come. Will you be renowned as makers, farmers, or charmers? So story uh, storyteller has astronomy legacy trait, plant lore, or waddle and daub. I'm not sure what that means. They fashion. So that would give us plus one industry. Plus one food or plus one science, which means it looks for me like science is the one that I'm getting the most right now. I'm getting a lot of that. And uh, that would be great, I guess. But that's per population. I'm going to get farmer just because having more food is always better. So let's just get that. There we go. That seems to be the good option right here. And now if I go here, I press here in the menu right here. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to go, it's going to throw me into the menu right there. So nomadic uh, tribe. Let's see what we got. So what is this? Plant lore? So we got plant lore. You have not reached this area yet. So era stars. We've got the plant lore. We got all of this. We don't really have anything else. Show deeds. Earn era gold. So unlock one star to choose your first culture. So I imagine I do have to unlock a star. In order to do that, I probably have to get one of those. I can't find anything else than science right now. It's kind of uh, frustrating. Now the old mechs have got there as well. Let me see if I can. Oh, there's an enemy right here. There's some people right there. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure who they are, but this is the first time we are encountering civilization. We are, on, we are gonna attack this place. Just because, why not? I kind of want to try it out. So let's attack this. There we go. We're going to attack this right here. So, all right. So we are attacking this place. So boom, just like that. Or do we attack uh, th these guys? I'm not sure. I can only attack a people that have declared war upon, I guess. I can't attack this, whatever this is. Okay. Uh, I got you then. Never mind. 
But I guess I, if I can't do that... Oh! Wait. Can I go here? Or is it like... Am I welcome here? I'm not sure. You know what? I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm not sure what's going on here, boys. I'm kind of lost. Uh, as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, my other people right here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, I got nothing going on right here. I'm still getting a couple of points, I guess. Uh, what do I do with them? Do I keep exploring north or do I want to explore the new land? I probably do want to explore the new land, to be honest. But I can't go there. I don't have the technology to go through the sea, boys. Yeah. So we'll just move on to the east, I guess, then. We'll keep moving on to the east and we're going to get in the same way some uh, fresh harvest. So plus 15 on food, which is fantastic. That gives us a lot of food right there. That's really good. I really do wonder how we're going to be able to upgrade this into a city or whatever. It's kind of the main mystery to me. The two main mysteries is how to get to the next era and how to upgrade my outpost into a city. So now we're already in the next move or the next turn. Let's, uh, let's go over here, I guess. Right uh, there. And we're going to keep doing our thing, I guess. We're going to keep exploring. There's some more uh, resources here. Re discoveries to be made. Okay, so what do I do here? There's an event nearby, apparently. Before do you dealing with the event, I do want to... Well, actually, it's, it, it has something to do with these guys. So what is this? Last souls, your scout comes to you. Breathless from exertion. Between grapes, uh, gasp, he tells you that this, he spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on. Then after giving a stop signal, you draw to your be uh, bellies and crawl forward in the brush. Ahead, a young woman, no more than 13 summers, is leading a ceremony. Her audience, a dozen or so equally young and younger tribesmen. Many are care crying, and when you see the bodies laid out, you understand they are mourning. You know what you must do. So welcome. These children need care and shelter. We'll be their guardians, and they will become our tribe. Uh, uh, all right. New army, so I gain a brand new army if I do that. Or swift on target, uh, two targets for... So withdraw, they could be sick or cursed, we will make haste. Swift on two targets, what does that mean? Uh, plus two land uh, movements, I don't care about that. Yeah, I'm going to add them to, uh, to the place. There we go, so I got a brand new people right there. I got uh, brand new people, boys, which is very good. Very good. We're going to get that resource right here. Get that resource, boys. Do I tag them? Do I want to attack these guys, boys, or not? Hold on. I'm not ready yet. Hold on, hold on. Understood. Oh, I did decide to attack them. Okay. So I t uh, this is for basically the control of this place. Okay. Uh, let's do manual battle. Let's do the manual battle. We are going to deploy uh, you over here. You're going to deploy over here, please. Over there. There we go. You're going to deploy there. And just for the purposes, you're going to deploy behind. So I'm not getting uh, ambushed or anything. So let's do this. Let's do the battle right here. They get to attack first, it seems like. So that's fine. We are going to get the attack now. So now we're going to attack these guys. There we go. First war, I guess. I don't know who these guys are. They Are they like they're definitely enemies? But I mean, are they are they bad or what's going on? I'm going to stay, uh, stay behind right here. Uh, I'm going to open this. And um, end the round. Do I want to end the round? Or do I want to just... I'm going to move there. Just so I'm uh, able to... Uh, to uh, su Supply them. Resupply them and stuff. Right? If I want to. So there is three rounds to this. I'm going to be able to, uh, to get them easily. So let's attack them really quick. Yeah. They're pretty weak. I was able to kill them pretty easily right there. So... Now that that is done, there we go. Plus 10 of each, which is fantastic. So what does that uh, do for us exactly? Did we just literally kill them uh, out of nowhere for no reason? Or like what's going on here? Okay, so I guess I just killed them. These guys, I do have to heal them up eventually. But uh, we're getting some points from these battles, I guess. Uh, with this unit, I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm going to go here. Because there is some stuff I can get from that. There we go. Plus 5 stars, boys. Gain a lot of influence right now. Uh, with that influence, I'm trying to gain a lot of stuff, I guess. There is some, a lot of resources I can get right here. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring. I'm going to go alongside this unit right here. Or maybe, you know what? 
Let's uh, let's go right here. Let's go right here and let's start exploring. Continue to explore on the south. Things like it feels like there's a lot of fertile lands in this area that I can possibly take. So that's gonna be great for me once I decide to actually do something about it. So that's really good. Now I could move my district once again, but where am I gonna move it really? I feel like we're in a good place right now. We're near the river and uh, we're falling big time. So what is this? Your city's food output is high enough to support population growth. Okay. It is currently gaining one population every 23 terms. So oh, that's how it's going. It's automatic. So it's going to gain another population. That's the bar basically when it's going to happen. So another eight turn and then we are we're going to have a pop uh, populace. So five of food right here, seven of industry. It's doing all right. Could be doing a lot better, boys, though. I imagine, right? There's not a whole lot I can do about this settlement, though, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's not like I, I can actually build anything, right? And I can't build anything. It's not a city yet. So I can't build anything to upgrade it or, uh, or at all. So let's just keep uh, skipping. This might be our next, uh, the next turn might be our last one. Let's see right here. We're in the turn 23 with this unit right here. I'm not going to bring them uh, any names. I'm just going to uh, get the name for my own main army. So this guy right here just gained a second army, which is really good. We're not going to split them up just yet. I kind of want to have two armies for each stuff. So we're going to keep them together for now. Uh, what I do want to do is keep exploring. So I kind of want to secure this entire front right here. So let's keep exploring on this side. There we go. For some reason, I can't ransack anyone. So uh, I wonder where is it that I can, I'm going to be able to ransack or anything. Uh, I am at 6 out of 10. I just need 4 more stars or 4 more points. These are growth stars. And I need uh, knowledge stars as well. I really need those. So now that we got 3 uh, citizens right here, I'm going to get you over here. I'm going to move you over here. Plus five again and uh, some science as well. So we're gaining some science. I'm mean, not gaining any food at all though, which is kind of bad. Kind of want to gain that. Rocky Fields Obsidian de Deposit. Now, can I actually like do anything about this? Can I ransack this? If I go here, like can I do anything about this or like what's going on here? I'm going to I'm going to see eventually if, if that's a possibility. Uh, I am going to go here because I do want to get the food. So let's go uh, and get the food right here. We are actually going to do instant uh, resolution. Hopefully we're not going to get too, uh, too destroyed. It seems like we're going to be fine. So we got the win. Uh, plus five food, plus five stars. Getting a lot of stars right now. So that's pretty much that. And every time you do something, oh, we can actually claim this territory, boys. Uh, we can claim another outpost if we wanted to, but the problem is it's a bit too far away from the other one. I want to stick together, you know? So I want to make sure that my uh, other outposts... So I did need 40... I'm pretty sure I needed 40 stars in order to create another outpost. So before doing that, before getting another other outpost, I definitely want to get these armies and get another one right here, somewhere here. Where it's further out lands, but we're close enough to the other one, right? So let's go back forwards right here. I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna split the uh, split these guys up right here. Oh, hold on. Split this, uh, this guy up with uh, this one. There we go. So I got more movements. You are gonna head back. You're basically gonna head back towards there. With him, we're gonna create our other outpost, boys. We need a suitable outpost. Being in the north is not gonna do it. It's not gonna do the trick. So what do we want to do is over here, we're going to keep exploring with this uh, unit right here. So let's uh, let's go over here. There we go. We gained a resource, which is fantastic. Uh, we got a sanctuary right here, which be a rich and diverse habitat, which we would be very good for us. So we're going to definitely uh, direct our control towards there. There is something there, copper. So we definitely want to, if we want to advance the Bronze Age, we want to go towards there, maybe settle here. That would be a good place to settle, boys. A second city, a second outpost. It's nearby and uh, it's not too far away. And we're going to have to uh, control that sanctuary and stuff. So that would be a good option. Now for these guys, 
I do want to see. Uh, I think we're getting close to the shores, probably the end of it, right? Let's keep moving right here, though. Let's keep moving real quick. This might be okay. So this is as far as we can go, really. It seems like it, I guess. Uh, for you, you are gonna keep exploring a little bit. It's not like I can actually attack these guys, so I, I'm gonna keep exploring these guys. There we go. Keep exploring towards that area and uncover as much land as possible really that's my main goal right here so that is done so we haven't done really too much right here i kind of want to do another turn yeah i kind of want to do another turn so let's just do another one where i'm going to be able to interact with that sanctuary so let's just send that guy uh over here uh we're going to send him o o over here i guess there we go and he's going to create the sanctuary right there. There is some more stuff right there. There's a lot of people right here. So, you know what? I'm really tempted right now. I'm really tempted. Let's go tag them. Let's go tag these guys. They're peaceful, it says. But uh, we're going to eliminate them. So, uh, let's do a manual battle. We are going to add them right here. They're going to uh, deploy there. Now, I only have this one army right here. But uh, let's attack them, boys. So, this guy's right there. All right, so let's continue attack uh, that uh, that the that the wildlife that's over here. We're gonna try and attack it as much as possible. They're gonna try, yeah, they're gonna attack us as a counter attack basically. But uh, we're gonna get them next turn. It's not too much of a big deal. It, they're pretty easy to defeat. So let's just get them really quick. I like the way you can be strategic with it and stuff, right? Once you we get plenty of armies and stuff, so. There we go, plus five everywhere across the board, which is very good. These guys can't move anymore because they already fought. We got some bronze uh, copper in here, which we're going to be able to build stuff around that. Okay, so I can't do anything with these guys just yet. But I imagine we keep exploring. So keep going towards there. And now we got plenty of land. We actually have a low, whole lot of lands that we still need to uncover, boys, which is very uh very good very good indeed that's a lot of fertile lands that we definitely want to that we definitely want to uh, get eventually for ourselves uh but uh, right now we're just exploring i already know where i want to settle so let's keep uh, going towards there there's some resources that i want to get right here so let's try and get those can i uh, get through there it doesn't seem like i can get through there so i gotta go backwards i guess so let's go do that i guess all right, so let's take a look really quick at the my my other outpost first, though. So we got Salmi. Now Salmi knowledge star. My knowledge star is getting up there. Uh, we are gaining almost like look at that, 15 out of 20 for the knowledge. Uh, we're not getting any science or whatever, but in five turns we are gonna get our first people living in Salmi. So that's gonna be very good. I got plenty of soldiers. I got one two and uh plus the three it's going to be five and six over here so i got like six divisions i got plenty of armies uh if i want them uh, if i wanted to i could literally put them all together i would be very strong but prefer to spare them together uh as uh, spare the aside so that they they can actually explore a little bit fur further and get more resources faster so i'm going to leave it for today boys remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy